a solid hit. Let's try that again. There's something. Oh, he got off, didn't he? No, he's still on. It's just coming towards me. I almost let the pressure off of him. Red fish? No, no, no trout. Nice trout. Pretty trout. Oh, stay down. Got him. Very nice. That's a perfect trout. Thank you, Lord. Woohoo! Nice little whoa, morning topwater trout. I'd say about 20. 18, 9, well, between 18 and 20, probably 19. Nice fish. And do a little intro to here. Get this over here. All right, we are out on a creek right off the ICW, uh, chasing sheep's head today. Uh, redfish. We, we've been walk, uh, fishing topwater and and trout. I got one speckled trout so far. Um, out with sea breeze, um, he's showing me the area, and uh, and uh, hopefully we put some more in the boat. Mainly going after sheep's head, so we're gonna start working ducks. Uh, thanks for coming out.
something. Hopefully I got a good hook set into him. What is that? Oh, redfish. There we go. That's a fish. Good day. Trout and a redfish so far. Check him out. Good guy. Back he goes. See those? Those you feel hit. The sheep's head just steal my bait. I'm not really sure what I'm doing wrong. But I'm gonna keep trying until I figure it out. There's one finally. My net's not ready. Good work, Mike. Ooh, we got him though. <laughs> Little guy. I think he's over 10 though. Wasn't even really hooked. Check him out though. All right. Thank you, Sea Breeze. He's 11. Bringing him home. Blue crab, huh? Feels like a blue crab. Or it's oyster. Blue crab. Big blue crab.
Where's that sheep? Little guy. I don't think he's gonna make it. I got both up. Nonetheless, another sheep. Sweet. Nope, he does not make it. Pretty little guy. Back he goes. Oh. I wonder where sea breeze is. Sea breeze is. There's a, something a little bigger. That's a keeper. Come here, buddy. Got him. Sweet. Nice. I know this is a keeper. All right, I'm checking out. Sweet. <laughs> Oh, right at the right at the net. That was a black drum. Got off right at the net. Keeper. It would have been 16, 15, 16. Not huge, but that's a fun. Thank you.
Something. There's one. That's a nice sheep. So this is another one. Thank <laughs> you. 
gitu. All right, this is my wrap-up video um, because my audio ran out on the water and actually my battery ran out. Um, we were out there too long today, but it was a, it was a beautiful day. It was a fun day. Uh, just got the kayak cleaned up and uh, about to fillet up some fish. Fillet up dinner. Um, anyways, um, lessons learned today. Uh, so this was probably the most consistent uh, sheep's head bite I've, I've been on. Um, and it was uh, mostly thanks to, to Seabreeze and his advice. Um, I, I learned some things today and I wanted to share those things with you uh, because I think it's, uh, it's good to know for, for finding and uh, getting on and actually catching uh, sheep's head. So uh, the first thing is uh, what, I, what I always kind of thought, and this is maybe a misconcep misconception that you have as well, I always thought you had to go vertically um, or it was best to go uh, bounce vertically your jig. Um, what I found out today is that's not really the case. Um, you can, you can pitch out, I was pitching out probably 20 yards, 30 yards, and then, and then bouncing the, uh, the bottom sweeper jig back. And, um, what you want to do, uh, or what I found out successful today, at least, is you let it drop down to the bottom, right? That's obvious, um, with, with sheep's head fishing. Uh, you get on the bottom. And then if you can see this, um, what I found best, my, my uh, jig is there, what I found best is, is light little bounces, like about like that. And then that'll carry it, right? A little bit farther, a little bit farther, a little bit farther. I switched up when I wanted to move, uh, cover more ground. I came up to here maybe. And then, well, that's, that's a bad bounce, but like this, okay. Um, a little bit higher. But uh, I had the best results when I was only just barely bouncing it off the bottom and letting the, the current take it towards uh, uh, down, down current. So uh, that really helped. Um, so I've always had trouble getting a, a hook set on, on sheep's head. And um, uh, Seabreeze really helped me with that um, today. There's a, how, how he suggested to do it, and, and I had good su success with it today is um, you keep your line taut on the bottom, you know, in between the bounces, you'll be just sitting on the bottom. Keep your line taut, um, and, and when, you, when they bite, you'll feel a, a thump, a really light thump. And, and when you feel that, what I did is, if you watch the rod, this is taut, right? I would go completely limp for about a half a second, and then jam on it, and then jerk really hard. Uh, this really, uh, I actually caught some, and it was uh, way more consistent uh, than it's been in the past. Um, basically, in the past, I was I was leaving it taut like this, and then when I felt uh, I felt the bite, I immediately jerked right. And for some reason, I guess the sheep they need uh, that little bit of extra time to to maybe bite it, like fully take it in. I don't know what the be nice to have a camera down there, right? Anyways, uh, there was that. Um, working all sorts of docks. Oh, another thing I learned today um, that I, another misconception that I had is that you need deep water. Um, this wasn't the case. I, we caught them from, 
from four or five feet uh, all the way to 10, 12 feet. Um, so that was, uh, that was good to know too because, uh, you know, in my mind that means I'm not just working the end of the docks. Um, I'm going to work about halfway in, um, you know, more towards shore and work all of the pilings to see if they're on a, a, def, a different uh, depth column. Uh, what else happened? What else did I learn? Um, a light little jig like this, I think this is a half ounce, I want to say, was all I needed uh, for even the heavier current. I got a bunch of three quarters and one ounce jigs. Um, you know, the three quarter and one ounce might be nice if you if you really get into a, a, a creek that's, that's whipping faster. Um, than, than the creek we were fishing today. Uh, but but that, uh, that, seemed to, that seemed to work well. Um, what else? I think that's about it. Uh, really, really fun. Uh, it, it, is, uh, it is kind of addicting. <laughs> um, I know a lot of you will, are, you guys probably already know um, these a lot of these tips and but uh, for me this was uh, a really good day I really uh, I learned a lot today um, and and got to practice it for for quite a while I will probably you know I, I don't think I had audio for the last few fish but uh, hopefully I got them on, on camera um, you'll see what I what I did so um, if you have any questions uh, for me either about fishing or about the trip today or about the gear or about um, I don't know anything uh, you know comment down below or even you know if you want to ask questions about me and and uh, with, within reason I'll uh, I'll try to answer those um, but yeah thank you thanks for coming out uh, really fun trip and and look forward to doing more of these sheep's head trips now um, it's always a surprise. You never know if you're going to hook into a, a sheep's head or black drum or even a redfish, right? Um, I think I finished out the day uh, with five keeper sheep. I think I had, you know, a handful of, of smaller ones, maybe th three or four uh, other sheep sheephead, and then um, one about 20 inch trout and a black drum that I got right up to the boat and, and he got off. He would have been a keeper too, but. Uh, thanks for coming along. Uh, we'll see you on the next trip.